Yo, what's up everyone? This is Ratchet Man back with another video for you guys. And I warned you at the beginning of my last video to this video too. Shh. I um, will be with background noise and I apologize for that. I have my kids in the other room. But on to the front of the video. Um, today, as you see in the title, when we talk about my sim play and my my sim game style, um, I'm mainly, so number one, I'm not the best sim player in planes right, not even right now at the moment. It's going to be a long term you can become highly skilled player at sim in simulation battles. It's very, very. There's a lot of very skilled players on this platform, um, and it's very, it's very difficult to beat them or be at least be competitive towards them to get them a little taste of their own power. But anyway, so what I'm gonna talk about in this video is sim battles. Sim battles is is a a, lo a, a hidden a game mode to me, I believe, in War Thunder. And the reason why it's so hidden is because it's very few players can really play this game mode, and I understand why. It's very, it's very strategic. Um, it's very difficult. It's very hardcore, and everything, every single, every single thing you do, it counts for your survival or to kill an opponent or to win a match. And the sim battle for me is I, I'm just trying to learn, just enjoy the game, just like as you do with other any other regular mode with arcade and, and realistic battles. But with sim battles, it's more hands-on control with every single control with your, your have air, aircraft and and oh, I'm sorry, excuse me, I'm burping. And as um and everything else with the elementals and yo, you you know controls of the vehicle, like different flights um patterns, different different controls, different um everything, everything. Each vehicle has their own unique special abilities. As you can like find out more and more as you play it, like for example, the BF one and is very, is very crazy and superior in every way. If you think about it, they they can have high altitudes, they can have low altitude control, they can um they can turn very good, they can keep up the energy, they got good guns. Um, it's like an all around plane as of between the you know p51s and the japanese planes japanese can only turn they got decent guns but not the best then america they got decent speed but not the best turn or not the best um in keeping energy so it's like it's like you you choose one or other and you can sometimes get fair fights sometimes you don't get fair fights but it's just knowing your opponent knowing your enemy is is very critical for this game mode um, for me, as you see in this video, uh, I'm playing on a console. I'm playing on a um, controller, not a joystick, or a whole simulation setup to to even do very good competition or not. No, I don't have that at all. No I'm head tracking. None. I'm using only joystick, and joysticks, and mashing buttons. <laughs> and my kids is just calling me. They're probably watching the movie. Anyway, I'm gonna continue with the video. I'm gonna close, crack the door. I'm, I had a crack so I could hit him, but now he's just making noise. Shh. Okay. Sorry, back to the video. So, um, um, I want to say is that I'm not the best. Uh, I've, I'm very mad. I'm not yet. I'm still not like I used to be okay, but now I feel like I slowly step away from this game mode and I became a I'm, I'm a trick again, but I'm stepping back up into playing this again so I can really show my skills off. Um, the killing part of the of this game is it's great, but not for fifty cows. Fifty cows. Japanese, I think 50 cows and probably Japanese struggle the most in this game. I don't, I don't know, probably Russia. Russia and America struggle, I think, in uh, air battles. It's because, number one, the 50 cows don't do that much. And I feel like the the Russian planes have so much limitation on altitude and stuff like that. Like, they can go high, but they can't go high enough for a long time or have that much maneuverability really, as every other nation. Um, I feel like america's 50 cows don't do enough damage in battle um and i feel like they easy to lose the control a lot just similar to like the spitfires and um i don't know whether nations struggle the most with their control of their aircraft but i feel like america and spitfire have the most control like less control of their vehicle it's easy to spin out flat spin all that stuff um as uh, i don't know if i showed it in this video i did fly with it in a bf-109 the american one the uh, F4 American one, and I, I I can go ridiculously crazy with that vehicle because the BF-109s have so much more control 
of their vehicle. You see how close he was? <laughs> People just it, it get it get chaotic sometimes in sim battles, but it gets so boring at so so many times. I just changed subjects, but I'm sorry. Subjects like sim battle gets so boring because you can't find nobody some at some moments, but in the moments you find everybody. You either find everybody that's on both sides of the team, or you find the the whole enemy team. Or you find whole the whole friendly team, but it's like you get overrun, or you just looking at your teammates like what it what the enemies at, or you just find solo. I, I want to do more wingman videos for you guys, so I will try to find um uh hopefully one of you guys is watching this video to to join with me. I need to I want to hit up sticks again. Sticks, if you watching, hey, I'm trying to play sim battles with you, man. I got a microphone, I got a headset, hey, I'm ready now. I don't got a microphone. I just got a headset with a mic. Anyway, um, but yeah, I really enjoy this game mode. Um, I, I do play it a lot. Can other than you know realistic battles in um a, a, arcade battles. When I first started um War Thunder, it was tank like I was joined after they just started adding tanks, and I I, I got into air aircrafts first because I, that's the game I, I joined for, and I was excited to have both of them. But with this tank, with this game, um, with RK, it was fun for a while. But it's, I knew it was in my type of style. But I, you know, it's crazy. I think everybody went through this moment. Like, man, I'm not gonna be good in realistic battles. It's it's gonna be hard. It's gonna be too difficult. And it was okay for me. Then after a while, uh, I'm, I stepped away from my PC and laptops and stuff like that. So I, was, I decided just to check it out on the console. I found out. Ooh, I perped again. Excuse me. Is that the sim battles is is more you is more learning, like it's so crazy how much more you can learn from this game, and instead of just you know jumping right into it, you gotta really learn everything all over again. It felt like I just started playing the game. I didn't know the map. I didn't know what was going on. I felt brand new to this game. It felt like a whole new game. Then um, after a while, just learning and patience and figuring out your your comfort zone with each control. You'll get better and better, better day by day. So that's what this whole video is about. Is about a shout out. It's a shout out, shout out for everyone, either PC or consoles that want to check out this video to learn more how to play sim battles, um, off the controller, uh, or just for PC players that just want to watch it for entertainment, or just want to see more strategies and stuff like that. I don't really have that many strategies because I'm not really a, a aircraft person, but I will get my best input on each vehicle that I play um but, but that's mostly it I have like a one minute left mark on this video but I really appreciate you guys for watching this video if you guys enjoyed it to the end um expect more sim simulation battles hopefully I get more into you know other nations um I will be live streaming for the next couple of days um, I don't know when you guys gonna check that out but um I'm doing a summer event I'm trying to do the I'm trying to finish off the. I'm gonna do the simulation battles um, for the plane event, so I can burn that out real quick. I might do ships, and I'm gonna, of course, I'm gonna do the tanks. So you guys just check that out. Check out my live stream for that. Um, once those ve once I do have retrieved them vehicles, I will do more videos on those. But um, I won't fail you guys on this tank. I did miss up on the object 279, but I won't do it this time. But hey, for the do, if you guys like this video, please like, comment, subscribe if you made it this far. Um, um, check out my Twitch channel. It's going to be the, um, the link in the description below. Only one rising dreamer. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. Love you guys. Thanks for watching the video.